Welcome to Ford Power Force Tech Talk. In this series, we'll focus on tips to help you fix your Ford vehicle right the first time. In this systems video, we'll take a look at how the 6.7 liter diesel fuel system works. Then we'll also show you how Ford tests its own and its competitors filters to explain how using aftermarket fuel filters can contribute to your truck's high pressure common rail fuel pump or fuel injection equipment failing prematurely or even damaging your engine. First, let's take a look at how the 6.7 liter diesel fuel filters work. Using the low pressure fuel pump located inside the diesel fuel condition module or DFCM, fuel is drawn through the primary fuel filter. This filter is designed to remove debris and contaminants as small as 10 microns. The filter also acts as a means to separate and remove any water that might be within the fuel. Water in your fuel can wreak havoc on your vehicle's fuel system, causing rust, allowing fuel to freeze or gel, and even cause hydrolock, all of which can severely damage your engine. Before reaching the injectors, the fuel also travels through a secondary fuel filter mounted on top of the engine. This filter can capture contaminants as small as 4 microns, or approximately 1 20th the diameter of a human hair, and will filter out any extra debris or water that made it past the primary fuel filter. Motorcraft fuel filters are designed to work within a specific calibrated range and are tuned to each engine's capabilities. A filter that underperforms will allow too many particles to pass through and can lead to high pressure fuel pump failure, clogged fuel injectors, or even a failed engine. A filter that overperforms by capturing too many particles can lead to the filter becoming clogged prematurely, especially under cold conditions if fuel has become waxy. This can restrict the flow required for cooling and lubrication of the fuel injection equipment and may cause premature failure. Motorcraft 6.7 liter diesel fuel filters were developed alongside the 6.7 liter engine and have undergone severe component, system, and vehicle testing to help make sure that your truck can perform and survive in extreme customer usage conditions. One such component test is the ISO multipass test, an industry standard test which measures how much debris a fuel filter is able to contain and how long it will last before needing to be replaced. The filters are installed into our testing equipment and then fed with natural silica dust. This special dust is chosen for the size of its particles and that it closely simulates real dirt that the vehicle will experience in use. Each test will feature precisely the same number of particles dispersed to ensure a natural distribution. These particles are weighed to be certain of a balanced and precise test. Prior to being sent through the filters, the test dust is combined with special red oil. Once properly combined, the oil and dust mixture will become cloudy or murky. These tests usually last between two and four hours and measure the efficiency, both upstream and downstream, of the test filters. Progress of the test is checked by technicians every two minutes and findings are recorded every 10 minutes until the completion of the test. In this testing, we're looking for a balance between a fuel filter's capacity and its efficiency. Following the test, we can see that the motorcraft filters performed very consistently throughout the test. This balanced performance is exactly what you want when choosing a fuel filter. A filter that underperforms can lead to too many particles of debris passing through it and could lead to damaged engine components or even a failed engine. A filter that overperforms may clog with debris or waxy diesel fuel in cold climates. If clogged badly enough, the engine may stop or become unable to be started due to starvation. Neither of these are situations you want to put your engine through. You could choose any brand of fuel filters for your Ford or Lincoln vehicle, but why take the chance? Choose the ones that have been rigorously tested to meet the OEM specifications of your vehicle. Choose Motorcraft. 
Another industry standard test measures a fuel filter's ability to separate water from fuel. Any moisture entering your engine will lead to corrosion and could potentially damage engine components. So a diesel fuel filter needs to be able to separate the water from the fuel properly. This complex testing rig was designed specifically for separating water from fuel. First, our primary and secondary fuel filters are installed. Next, we flow a mixture of diesel fuel and ultra-pure water through a metal plate with a small hole. This hole makes the water particles smaller and more challenging to separate from the fuel. Using a laser diffraction instrument, we can measure the size of these water droplets within the fuel. Next, the mixture of fuel and water is sent through the diesel fuel filters for 90 minutes. Every 10 minutes, the technician will take fuel samples from upstream, the midpoint, and downstream of the filters. Each sample is then emulsified before being injected into a Carl Fisher colometric titrator. This will measure the amount of water remaining in the fuel and tell us the efficiency of the filter. After the tests are complete, we can look at vials of the fuel samples taken from both the motorcraft and competitive filters. On the left, the motorcraft filter removed nearly all of the water, leaving behind crystal clear diesel fuel. On the right, a competitive filter removed significantly less water, leading to this murky emulsion. This cloudy mix is proof that this aftermarket filter couldn't match the performance of this motorcraft filter. It's this kind of vigorous testing that demonstrates how Ford goes further to make sure the filters it manufactures work as efficiently as possible. That's why a motorcraft filter is the optimal choice when it comes time to replace that filter. And when you're choosing parts for all of your repairs, remember that motorcraft parts feature a two-year unlimited mileage warranty. That's all for this post. Be sure to check out our series of videos for installation and repair tips for Ford engines. Thanks for watching.